Not sure what I'm going to talk about. Episode 1. Hey. Sky streak with ya. Whew, hell of a weekend. Had a pretty good time partying with some uglies. And stuff. But, uh, other than that... Not really paying too much attention to the political agenda. However, one particular item... Shit. I just bumped the camera there. Oops. One particular item caught my agenda, and that was HR 347. House Resolution Bill 347. Which gives the President executive order to basically cut off your rights to freedom of speech within a press rally and or protest on the grounds that if there are CIA members within the vicinity of where you are protesting, you can be held accountable and or go to federal prison for up to one year. Well, shit. We was all gonna get together and have a hemp rally this afternoon on the Capitol steps. And I know there's gonna be some motherfucking CI members there. I mean, you know, Come on. Anything to stop rednecks from growing marijuana, you know what I mean? So that means I'm gonna go do some time just for talking about it. Fuck you. So, if you wanna speak your opinion, it's okay in public. As long as there's no CIA members around. All right, here's your first clue. Sir, so you're in a protest, right? Everybody's together and they're doing their thing. They're ranting, they're raving. Yeah, 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 down with them, down with them. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And then what, you're supposed to look around and look for badges or uh, earplugs or concealed weapons? Uh... Hey, you. I see you protesting over there. Don't you know I'm a CIA member? Well, no, not really. You just kind of look like a dumb motherfucker with a black tie. Just another uh, political agenda fuckface to me. That's what you look like. Throw him in the trunk. We'll take him to a far, far away place, undisclosed location, and dig a hole, and we will throw him in it. <sighs> well, okay, I might be getting a little far off topic, but I'm talking about freedom of speech in general and where it can lead based on America's belief pattern these days. You know... You can't say fuck. You can't say cunt. You can't say fuck you. You can't say fuck off, you fucking cunt. You can't say... A lot of things. Those are just some examples. So really... It's a uh, regulated right... To freedom of speech, it's uh, well, this is okay, but that's not okay, and these things might be okay, and no, that's definitely not okay. Put it 50 cents into the cuss jar. I mean, grow up, America, and learn to deal with the dirty words. You all know what they are, and censorship does no good. This because I put a beep in front of the word fuck doesn't mean you don't know what I'm saying, so fuck you. I'm sorry, I got a little out of control, but 
No, fuck you. Yeah! Fuck you! You motherfuckers! Fuck all you motherfuckers in Congress and your left wing and your your fucking right wing and the whole fucking wing thing. Fuck y'all. Fuck you. Fuck ya. So, I guess in other words, we're on one side and we're on the other side and we're in the middle and we're telling people when and when they can't say something, depending upon who's present. Well, Mr. CIA member, if you take off your black shirt and your black fucking pants and your black fucking armor resistant fucking stuff and your underwear you're a naked human. You are no different than you or me. You're just a naked human. So if you got the fucking bullets and the clothes and the identity crisis, then you are almighty? No. And I want to take this moment to tell Obama to fuck off. And I want to take this moment to tell Congress to fuck off. And I want to take this moment to tell the Senate to fuck off. And I want to take a moment to say that the whole fucking system can just go get fucked. There. How's that for your fucking freedom of speech? There's no CIA members hanging around here, so fuck you.